Team Jackson, what's happening? So I posted this a couple of days ago, this particular scenario, but I'm still getting comments on it. You know, there's some people who agree with me and then quite a few people who feel like because of my stance, now I officially hate women. So I want y'all to tell me what you think, man. All right. So it's from a guy named Eric Haynes, right? And he says, I recently went on a date with a nice woman. We had dinner, drinks and a great conversation. As the waiter brought our bill, my date asked me, could I buy two takeout dinners for her kids? I said no, because I don't even know her kids. She had an attitude for the rest of the night, so I cut the date short. Question, was I wrong for not buying her kids I never met dinner? And was she asking for too much too soon? Now, I saw kind of comments, most of them saying stuff like, well, maybe she was just testing him, and if so, then that means that he failed. I saw other comments saying, well, that's the role that he wants to play in her life eventually, so he, yeah, he was wrong for not buying her kids dinner. That's what he's supposed to do if that's what he's trying to do in the future. And I saw some comments saying a real gentleman would ask if she was in a tight spot financially and do something to help her out and, and not deny her and her kids food. So before we go forward, let me just say this. My stance is that no, he's not wrong. In fact, I think the woman is very much so out of line for even asking him to provide for her kids. And he's saying that it's too soon. That insinuates this. This, this is really early in the dating phase. But I want y'all to peep how he handled. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ladies, ladies, ladies. Now you know we done gone too far. When Derek, I condone all your actions, Jackson, is not agreeing with you. Lord, you know what? Let's jump right into this. Listen, I personally have a really huge problem with that as a woman. If you're having problems feeding your children in the same way that we tell men who are not ready for relationships not to be out there dating. If you're broke, don't go out there dating. That's for men and that's also for women. If you can't feed your children, you need to be someplace in some, some sort of social program, getting with some families and with, with some of your friends and family and figuring out your situation. Putting on some nice clothes and some makeup and some lipstick and then going out there to hang out at P.F. Chang's. No, baby, take care of your basic essentials. Come into the situation whole because look let me tell you how it can be flipped so now he says okay well you know what this woman is having some issues feeding her kids remember we talked about reason number one for the date is to be in neutral surroundings now you're introducing other people into the relationship into the situation your two children two dependents so here he go he can flip it oh wow well you know what rather than spending the money because first of all beggars can't be choosers so listen Rather than spending the money on this food at P.F. Chang's, let's go to Kroger's. Let's go to the grocery store, and then I'll come over and I'll cook for them. What is she going to say? Nah, I just won't just get the to-go food. No. First of all, listen, don't ever ask anybody a question if they can't say no to. She asked, can he pay for the food? He said no, and then she had an attitude. Don't ask people questions that they don't have the right to say no to in your book. Just don't ask them. She couldn't, if she wanted P.F. Chang's for her children, the fact that she didn't feel as if she could buy her own children food at the restaurant and was looking to him to provide that role. So then he says, well, you know what? Let me come over and cook for the kids. What are you going to say now at that point? Nah, I just want P.F. Chang's for them. Well, then if that's the case, listen, I offered you what I could. You didn't accept that. So now my hands are wiped of it. Or she says, well, okay. Well, you know what? Since her kids are quote unquote hungry anyway, because I mean, what's the, what is it? Are they hungry or are they not hungry? So now since her children are hungry anyway, now he's coming over to cook food for her. And then we get into this cycle of control because now he's met your children. First of all, you're making a person jump through hoops for what? To get to know you? To, to, to get some booty from you. And then that's where we get into you having bad game. Because if you're really about your business and your children can't eat and you selling ass, you might as well just go on out there and sell ass. Forget the date in the middle as some sort of, some sort of, some, some, some facade. Why? Why have the facade? The fact that you're on a date selling ass by proxy, using the date as a cover to try to make yourself seem what? I don't know. I don't understand this. I don't understand how any grown woman could get up there, go out on a date, and then ask a man to open up his wallet because her children are hungry. 
If you can't afford to feed your children and you're out on date prostituting your time in exchange for their meals, and like, and then Derek Jackson says inside the video, eat some breadsticks and take the food home. It's like, where is your, where is your, 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 your pride as a woman? Where's your esteem as an adult where you're not handling your business? Where did you would just nibble a little bit on the food and stay hungry so that you can get a to-go container and take that to your children? If you really don't have the money and you really out there prostituting your time in exchange for food, take some nibbles and then take the rest of the plate home to your children. Oh, you know what? I'm really, I, I thought I was hungry, but oh, I just got, I got full on, on, on the bread. I'm just going to take this home. And then you split that up with your children because there's some, listen, if your children are not taken care of to the point that you're going to be out on a date prostituting your time and then getting mad because you can't come home with food for them, social services needs to pay you a visit. I'm sorry to put it like that, but you need to get a visit from social services. And on that note, I want to hear your point of view on this because I this situation just, it makes you know, sometimes you see things out there about black people and you're like, oh, I'm ashamed to be black. I see, I hear stuff like this and it makes me embarrassed as a woman. It makes me embarrassed that a. Ugh, I want to hear your thoughts below. Tanya TKO and I'm out. I I, I need to hear from you. That's it. I can't say no more.